Hello viewers, in this video we will discuss about the submerged arc welding. Outline Introduction to submerged arc welding, process, features, general operating conditions, types of submerged arc welding, advantages, limitations, and applications. Introduction to submerged arc welding Submerged arc welding is a method in which the heat required to fuse the metal is generated by an arc formed by an electric current passing between the electrode and workpiece. There is no visible arc and no sparks, spatter or fume. The electrode may be a solid or coat wire or a strip. Saw is normally a mechanized process. This is the image showing the submerged arc welding process the molten weld and the arc zone are protected from atmospheric contamination by being submerged under a blanket of granular fusible flux flux consists of lime silica manganese oxide calcium fluoride and other compounds when molten the flux becomes conductive and provides a current path between the electrode and the work this thick layer of the flux completely covers the molten metal thus preventing spatter and sparks as well as suppressing the intense ultraviolet radiation and the fumes that are a part of the shielded metal arc welding process process sh process diagram consists of electrode two work pieces and the flux powder the arc is submerged inside the flux powder features of saw flux hopper it stores the flux and controls the rate of flux deposition on the welding joint welding head it feeds flux and filler metal to the welding joint electrode filler metal gets energized here flux the granulated flux shields and thus protect this mold, molten weld from the atmospheric contamination. The flux cleans weld metal and can modify its chemical composition also. Features of saw Electrode Saw filler material usually is a standard wire as well as other special forms. This wire normally has a thickness of 1.6 mm to 6 mm, 1 by 16 inch to 1 by 4 inch. In certain circumstances, twisted wire can be used to give the arc an oscillating moment. This helps fuse the toe of the weld to the base metal. The electrode composition depends upon the material being welded. Alloying elements may be added in the electrodes. Electrodes are available to weld mild steels, high carbon steels, low and special alloy steels, stainless steel and some of the non-ferrous of copper and nickel. General operating conditions Current The total welding current can range between 100 and 3600 amps. Wires in one molten pool from 1 to 6. Voltage 20 to 50 volts. Speed 30 to 350 cm per minute. Deposition rate 2 to 100 kg per hour. Types of saw Submerged arc welding can be divided into 5 types. Single wire, twin wire, tandem, tandem twin, and multi wire. Single wire. Single wire welding is the most widely used saw method. DC power source is used. The solid or code wire of the diameter 2.0 to 4.0 mm are used. The small diameter produces a higher deposition at the same rate. Twin wire. For twin wire welding, Two wires are connected to the same power source. DC power source is used. It offers up to 30% higher deposition rates and can be used at higher currents and speeds. Very high welding speeds can be achieved in fillet welding. Tandem In tandem submerged arc welding, each of the two wires is connected to its own power source and fed simultaneously by its own feed unit both ac and dc sources can be used the wires are normally larger diameter 
3.0 to 5.0 mm and deposition rates are about twice that of the single wire welding tandem twin the esab tandem twin process involves the two twin wire heads placed in sequence both ac and dc pulses can be used with the use of 4 into 2.5 mm diameter wires deposition rates of up to 38 kg per hour can be achieved multi wire up to 6 wires can be used together each with their own power source the lead wire is usually dc polarity with trailing wires being ac speeds of up to 2.5 meter per minute can be achieved giving a maximum deposition rate of 90 kg per hour this technique is particularly suitable for longitudinal pipe welding advantages high quality little risk of undercut and porosity no spatter very little risk of lack of fusion due to deep and safe penetration high deposition rate high thermal efficiency no radiation high welding speeds are possible deep penetration rate low distortion limitations precise joint preparation required no observation of arc and process during welding is possible high operational effort high equipment cost it cannot be used for plates less than 5 mm thickness flux is subjected to contamination and absorption of moisture solidification cracking irregular wire feed applications fabrication of boiler pressure vessel railroad tank cars structural shapes and cylinders circular wells beam production ship building circumferential welding in wind tower fabrication longitudinal pipe welding nickel base alloys surface application